All right, so we're finally back with some more MB2K22. My team, I'm Alex Vo, doing no money spent. And this one is me. We did end up completing this life agenda, which it came out on Monday, I believe, or Tuesday for this. I think it was actually Monday for the DeAndre Jordan. Um, You do get the Amethyst version, the Sapphire version, and also the Diamond version. It's kind of like getting the... Daryl Griff card as well, which I haven't really completed, but I completed this one because it is a little bit easier. The longest one is technically getting is the 75 dunks with the uh, not with the Angels Jordan, but with the centers. That one take a little bit of games. I played a lot of actually chip threat offline and some of the like spotlight challenges too to get those dunks. So that wasn't too bad. And then the multiplier game one could be difficult getting those 30 points with any version of actually DeAndre Jordan too because people are be defending the paint. Luckily for me, I against a really small team in the first one, so I only need so I scored twenty two points in the first game, but then at eight points in the second game. The first game I actually ended up winning because that team was a smaller team. They ha had a lot of guards. And then for the second team was difficult, but luckily we still did end up getting the eight points. Twenty seven rebounds with the Amphis that was pretty easy. So you could do it in technically any type of game modes there. Offline, online, um, even domination if you're playing domination at that time. Winning five games with using Dallas Maverick players, that's pretty easy. You just do a spotlight challenge, make like that nine three-pointers or something like that. This one could be kind of a little difficult, but it's kind of easy. You could do it. I did it in one of the spotlight challenges, getting the 20, 20 points and two block shots. With the Sapphire version, that's how you get the Amptis. And then get nine box shots. That's pretty easy. Get ten dunks and triple threat offline or online. And then win triple threat offline with three Clippers players. So those were pretty easy to do there. We did end up getting him. So we completed that. And then also for me, I finally completed domination for all time. So we will actually end up getting these two other diamonds, which we did now we Let's open the pack. We'll get this uh, wrong one. Let's un oh, unopen these packs here. So the Bob Cousy, we end up getting him. He does look like a pretty, really, really good card. So I can't wait to use him. Probably for the next new domination, which we are going to get for Season 2. So that's pretty nice. Like NBA's 75 anniversary. So that might be even more difficult than these all-time domination because might be getting getting some pink diamonds and galaxy cards now too probably for the newer domination so that's bob Cousy there uh, then we are now gonna go over here too as well to our collection reward and hmm, yeah go over here let's lock that in because we also completed and finish grinding all of the evolution cards for all time domination as well. So, the Charles Oakley, the Marcus Lucas, Jim Jackson, Bob G Gibbs, Daniel Gibson. Oh man, I was blanking. I was about to say Bob Gibson for some reason, but Daniel Gibson is that Mike, Mil Mike Miller, Matt Barner, there's a Tony, that's not Tony Davis, really. Um, that's Gerald Moon. Matt Barnes, James Edwards, then Randy Whitman, Mario Ellie, and also Reggie Williams. So those were the evolution cards. We completed that. We are going to get this Diamond Bob Pettit card as well. Let's unopen, unopen this pack as well. And Bob Pettit looks really, really good. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to start him or I might start him at the center. I could start him at the power forward. But I know he's not the tallest player. He's like 6'9", I believe. So he's going to be undersized putting him at the center. But he does have a three ball. We'll look at all these stats of these two players here. There you go. So now we're completed everything for Domination until tomorrow. Since we are going to get a new one tomorrow for Domination. So, man, I've been grinding Domination for the last couple of weeks. And now we're going to be playing more Domination since the new one is to be coming out. So let's go to the collection and go to the reward. We're going to go over here. Go over here. Let's look at the Bob Pettit stats here. So he does have a pretty good three ball. So 92 pretty much on the post. The post hook, the post fade, 
Close control all 92. Driving layup is a 77. Draw foul at 89. Shot close is 95. Mid range 92. Um, three pointers at 88. So that's really, really good for him. Free throws, pretty solid, 82. Standing and driving, 75. Ball handling, 72. 69 on the pass IQ. Then pat, pass accuracy is 62. Um, block, 88, which isn't too bad. Steals is 76. Interior defense is 82, which isn't horrible. So offense, 92 on the rebound. Defensive rebound is 93. Speed of 60. I was hoping that one would be a little bit uh, I thought he would have a little bit more speed, but oh well, can't complain about that. Vertical is 75, strength is 88. Now quickness, not the greatest, but overall this card is a pretty decent card for sure. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, he's 6'9", so putting him at center, he probably will definitely will he'll be undersized. Then let's look at the Bob Cousy here. Um, so his driving layup is 95. Not too much on the post because he is point guard. Draw foul is 88. Shot close to 88. Mid range, 84. 90 on the three point shot, which is really, really good. Free throws at 84. Not too much on the dunks, which is only 25. Ball handling and pass IQ and pass accuracy all 92 there. Steal 93. Premier defense 91. So he's going to be a pretty good guard that could defend really well. Pretty solid there. 90 speed. 90 speed with the ball, acceleration is a 90, vertical is 80, strength 60, 56 because of he's a point guard. The quickness is 90, so that's really, really good. So, overall, these two, like two new diamonds on our team, that's pretty good. We also got the other two diamonds too, and Jamal Wilkes. This card, it looks okay to me. It's not like the greatest card in the world or anything like that. So this is his stats as well. Not too much on the three-point shots, 73. But his post, 84 on the hook and post control. Then post fade is 85, driving layups, 90. Shot close, 92. Draw fouls, 88. We just said a three-point. Mid-range is 89. Three points, 73. Free throws, 81. Standing dunk is 80. Driving dunk is 85. Ball handling, 83. Um, blocks is 75, which isn't too bad for a shooting guard slash small forward. Steals 82. Perimeter defense, 88. Interior, 78. So, not bad on the defense there. Offense, rebound, 65. Defense is 80. Speed, 83. Speed with the ball is 80. Acceleration is 83. Vertical strength is 80. 94 on the stamina, but loud quickness, 87, which isn't bad, but I think that card is all right. Richie here. I always like this Richie card. I'm not sure how he pronounced his last name, so I'm just going to say Richie. Um, I always remember him because of, I think it was 18 or 19, where they came out with his Amthus card, and I loved his release and still like his card. So we end up getting his diamond card for domination, so that's pretty cool. So driving layup, 86, and then post fade, 77, post hook, 75, post control, 78 for Technically, a two guard, and he is a small forward. I thought he was gonna be two guard slash point guard, but he is his two guard slash small forward. So kind of definitely sucks there. I kind of rather play him at the point guard, but oh well. So the draw foul is eighty eight. Shot close eighty five. Mid range eighty nine. Three point shot eighty six. Free throws eighty five. Standing dunks only fifty five. But driving at least he could dunk with eighty. So I'll definitely take that. Ball handling 86, pass IQ and accuracy is 85, block 65, steals 82, parent defense 88, so it's not bad, interior 63, um, defensive rebound 74 for a point uh, shooting guard, it's not bad, 62, I was about to say point guard again, but he's actually a shooting guard slash small forward, um, speed 89, then Speed with the ball, 85. Celebration, 89. Vertical, 88. Strength, 85. That's pretty good for a shooting guard, 85. Um, but then Stenema, a lot of hustle. Then a lot of quickness, 84 there. Yeah, so this card is a really, really solid card. I always like his release in technically any 2K since it ever came out. So having him is pretty cool again. And then the other cards are 
technically the only not diamonds technically drama green that's for the regular domination but there you go so we completed all that um so far in the collection wise if you go to our oh whoops go over here to our lifetime agendas so it's, there you go lifetime agendas over here so we still need another 46 cards for the slick Watts card here. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, Watts. But Slick here. So we're about to almost get him. So we need another 46 cards. Um, I definitely would love to get to the Daryl Dawkins card. Especially if you're going to be grinding for the next domination. Because it's going to be a lot harder for sure. Because I think we might, or maybe here, getting Rondo would be pretty amazing too as well. Because um, since, if you, let's go to domination again. Let's go to all time, and for the mess, most part, this is where we start guessing some really good players. There are pink diamonds. I think the '97, well, that Michael Jordan for sure is a Galaxy oval for sure. Um, '97s, those are probably pink diamonds slash almost Galaxy oval cards. The '96 for sure that Dave Robinson is a pink diamond. Um, but then if you look at these teams over here. The best players are pink diamonds and diamond players. Tim Duncan, of course, he's going to be the Galaxy card. But I'm guessing we are going to get more pink diamonds slash maybe Galaxy oval cards for the newer one. But we'll see, man. Uh, it's kind of raging sometimes in some of these games. It's kind of difficult, but at the end of the day, we end up completing it. So I definitely, uh, it wasn't too, too bad, but we'll see how the other new nomination i know for triple threat online they changed it so that's pretty good instead of you losing the hunt like points every time even though you play a game the other guy if the other person scored 20 points and you end up winning by 22 like 22 to 20 you lose 20 points but now it looks like it will stay the same so technically now you actually have to only win the game so that's so much better uh, i definitely will take that to me, I, I haven't really tried playing online, really. <laughs> so, um, reward-wise, yeah, most of the stuff is the online stuff that I didn't do in Season 1. Um, so, we did end up completing Domination. That's offline. The online, like for offline and online, we def definitely got both of the rewards. We did end up getting the Lou, Louis Dampier, then Ronnie Boone as well. Um, we didn't get the L car, which he does look like an amazing card and also play a really good defense. And then Gus Gerd, guard card as well. So we didn't get Gus either. So those are the online stuff. Limited, we did not get the Devin Booker. To me, I, I don't really care too much about the Booker card, but the next one, it does look pretty good. Um, we still could get the James Harden, but we still got 24 hours, but... I don't think I'll be going for the Amptis one. Then the Wilt Chamberlain card. So it looks like you could just win 12 games now. And you definitely get the reward. So that's even better. So so far, so far like season 2, it sounds so much better. Um, Luca, eventually we could still end up getting him. Rui, we still haven't got him at all yet from the Will spin. And then Brian Russell, we did not end up getting. Robert Ori or Dennis. We definitely could have got some of these cards. Joe Ingles. There's a Joe Ingles one. I I guess. Um, but those ones, technically the limited. Some of the games you have to get like the players, which at that time I didn't have any empty, so I wasn't gonna be going for it anyway. So I, I can't really complain. We got that basketball looks pretty cool. So I can't complain there. Those are the only other things we did we did not end up getting is these ones. Because those were like the limited. If you go over to single player, the challenges and you hit the skill challenges and stuff like that would have been like these limited ones. Um, and also, you have to match the teams. So, some of the players we did not end up getting is just because we didn't have the players for it or the MT. Right now, I'm saving M. Well, technically, we have the MT for season two, but I wish I had a little bit more. 
a little bit more than 600k because we are gonna be losing a lot of MT just because of the 10% cut and stuff like that. So it, it'll go down to 500 something or maybe even less. But for tomorrow, I don't think I'm gonna be rushing to get the XP right away. I might wait for like a week or two to do that since like we probably won't get as many, but we'll get some MT. Not MT. Some XP for tomorrow for the new season. So you know for sure they are always gonna add more more xp later on um i still need to work on the d brown eventually i'll get him done so we just need five more three pointers and three three more steals with him then also i know there is the channing fry which we still need to end up working on which is down here we still need 19 more threes to get him to amp this the d brown goes to a diamond um anybody else down here yeah, it's just only those two cars that we still need to work on, but uh, that's not bad. Yeah, those are only two main ones that we need to work on. And also the Slick Watts card as well. Eventually when we get him, we just need to collect another 40 cards. Because if you look at the collection, oh, this is where we can also be locking in the... Cl I think I'm going to be locking in these cards here to get the tokens, but let's see here. Um, I haven't got... I don't have all the cards. The only cards that I really care about are getting the cheap ones, like the Amthys, the Rubies, the Sapphire cards. Those are the only ones that I actually prefer to keep right now. I know I could get this Dennis Schroeder just for having a player, but he's not that bad. He's really, really cheap, actually. Um, Dirk and Whiskey is really, really cheap, too, as well, for Diamond. Um, I really would love to get the Kobe Bryant, but he's still kind of going for a little bit. I think his price still will probably go up eventually when these packs are gone since we'll get newer cards for Season 2 and then these cards are going to be a little bit more rare. Vince Carter, I don't care too much about the Vince Carter, but Cream Dutch Bar is really, really attempting to have because I think I'm going to need some of these cards just for the, for the new domination. So, uh, so yeah, for collection-wise, we're still missing a lot of these playbooks, so eventually... I need to get those who are missing, like, what, 30-something of these? 38 of these playbooks. Missing 11 there on the logos. The historic arenas, we're missing 24 of them. Missing a bunch of the coaches. We're still missing a lot of the historic floors, which I think these are probably going to be the cheapest out of all. So that's, like, 31 cards there. I still haven't sold. I sold some of these. But we still got so much of that and some, a lot of these badges too as well that we haven't sold yet either. And then also the injury cards. We have a bunch of those too as well. And then what else? Oh, sh we're missing a lot of these jerseys. I think if we get all these jerseys, we definitely will probably get closer to like Rondo. And also probably we'll get the, at least probably get to the Daryl Dawkins card at least. And that card is evolution, so he'd be attempting to actually end up getting. Um, yeah, because we barely have any jerseys. Um, so eventually we'll be looking at that. Because, all right. Let's go. Oh, okay. At least they show up now before. I don't think they even showed up at all. So, yeah, some of these jerseys, like, going for a 1,000. And some might be even more. Some of them are going to be less. Yeah. At least they show up now before. I don't think you will get that like you will see nothing in the auction house so yeah these jerseys not a, yeah all of them are technically a thousand so uh, 900 for that yeah nothing's yeah it will be shown like there's no auction match or something like that so i guess there probably isn't any in the auction house that's why Ooh, damn that <laughs> that one's like 2900 for the cheapest grizzly jersey that one's thousand so yeah like, we're missing so many jerseys. I don't want to be spending on the jerseys right now until they get cheaper. Maybe later on down the road there. Let's see here. Um, Event cards. I don't need any of them. Oh, let's go. Yeah, this is where we should. Coaches. Any, any coaches that we don't have? I know we're missing a lot of coaches. Oh, I probably should have done this. Okay, well... There's that. Him. 
let's pick that up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, oh, well. It's not like we're spending way more than that. So, um, to fi so that's the same coach there. But, yes. I'm going to need to go through these. Oh, 300 for a goat coach. I definitely, you know, not bad. Uh, Nick. Ah, I'm kind of surprised he's even a gold card. All right, let's. Yeah, we're going to start picking up some of these coaches, some of these jersey if they're really, really cheap. Um, So I'm gonna just going to lock. Just do that so I don't mistake. Um, and then go back. Because you never know. Like over here, coaches. Over there. We'll try 250 still. Okay, there's no match there. So maybe 300 for some of these coaches. Nope. Hmm. I don't know. Sometimes it's glitchy. Sometimes, even though the, there is some cheap cards, even though they don't show up at all. Uh, kind of surprisingly, they don't show up. I don't know. Sometimes the uh, action house, like it. I got a feeling sometimes it's broken at times. Hmm. Let's see here. What happens if we just do that? Put any. Or maybe I have majority of them, so. Uh, yeah. Maybe we do have some of the. Oh. Uh, Pretty much, maybe we have all the gold ones and the silver ones already. So for this one, we could bid on that if we wanted to. Yeah, the diamond coaches, I'll definitely sell them now since we are going to be getting diamond coaches. Also, part of the the new domination as well. If you finish crying that, you also get some diamond coaches. There's one for the Steph Curry one. So I'm guessing his is going to be probably plus... On the three pointers, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe plus fives or tens or something like that. Especially if it's a diamond. I think it's plus five because, or maybe it could be more because it's. I don't know. Let's go back to. Let's go here. Diamond coaches. These ones give plus fives, I believe. Yeah, plus five. So I wonder if. Are we going to get better pluses with the new diamond coaches? Maybe we get plus tens instead of plus fives. Like these diamond coaches, but who knows? Rick Snyder and Monte Williams are one of the only diamonds there for the coaches. And they're really, really expensive. But at this point, I would definitely will sell them at this point since we are going to be getting new diamond coaches. Um, Let's look over here again. Um, We want to look at jerseys, of course. We do need a lot of the jerseys. Yeah, I don't think any of them are going to show up since a lot of them are like probably a thousand and over. That's a lot of MT and we're missing a lot of them too. So that's probably like another 100 or 200k MT wise spending on jerseys. So yeah, cheapest ones are like nine, 850s. 850 and above. Oh man. Yeah, they're just too expensive. And we got a lot of these jerseys, so hopefully, maybe we'll get luckily. Other way too, if you're if you're grinding, if you barely start grinding, I'll do these pickup ones. You do get free, like the if you win the game, you technically get the the free standard pack here, lead standard pack. Um, you do get players, so that will help your collection too as well. So technically, you don't have to get these like gold players or anything. Like sometimes you might you get the ruby in the standard pack. So let's lock this in here. We are gonna get at least a piece of for the Luca as well. Um, so let's lock this in. So we started with two hundred and fifty tokens there, or two forty-five. We start with two forty-five, and we're gonna end up with probably with maybe over 500 something tokens so let's lock all these in and eventually for these teams like lifetime agendas of course there's gonna be always teams that you're gonna need like the one with dnj jordan you need the dallas mavericks players you needed also the clippers players luckily you didn't have to need the lakers players and stuff like that either but 
some collection you're gonna need to get um there you go we're gonna redeem that um and we are probably gonna get some new collections too so might as well just lock these in so, i don't know if maybe some of these cards prices will eventually maybe go up a little bit i'm not 100 percent sure but you know i wouldn't probably would invest in some of these cards but especially with the super pack you probably should be investing on some of the other cards like those Amethyst cards that used to be so much more. Like the Devin Mitchell card. The Josh Smith card. Even Christoph Porzingis is a pretty nice card. Um, Fox, if you really want speed, he's a pretty solid card. Um, who else? The Kawhi Leonard card as well. That Kawhi Amethyst card was a pretty solid one too. So you definitely get a lot of those cheap Amethyst cards now than before. There you go. So we're going to be locking in all these collections as well. So we're almost at 400 tokens here. And then we're going to go over here. Give me a second here. All right. We'll continue to... Yeah, give me a second here. Alright, so let's go to the west now. And let's collect all these tokens as well. So, we are going to have some decent amount of tokens, which I'm happy about. Um, So, we got a lot of these tokens from playing technically the domination games as well so technically we could pick up pink diamond cards if we wanted to but i'm gonna just hold on until tomorrow we'll see what cards we end up getting for the token market i don't think they even talked about any of the cards um but they talked about the other rewards i know there's the gary Payne. i forgot which is it unlimited or limited for the gary Payne. so he was one of the rewards um gary Payne, he'd be a pretty pretty nice point guard for sure he's gonna be amazing on defense the 40 reward is technically um it's kevin garnett um oh, we already locked that one in that's wait there you go now we locked it in so that one uh like for kevin garnett i do i think i would love to get him especially he's definitely gonna be amazing defensive player for sure i wonder if he's gonna have a three ball or not since kevin garnett Especially not really a three-point shooter. But we'll see how good that pink diamond Kevin Garnett is. Um, and he'll be a pretty good one for sure. Especially for a big man. There's not too many good big men around. But there, there's still some. But that's going to be really, really expensive for some of these big men to get. Like, right, oh well, right now, the prices are pretty cheap. Like the Kareem Dua Jabbar right now. The Shaq is under 100k again. So maybe those cards um getting wilt for him that takes forever but luckily they're changing that for the unlimited and stuff like that so who knows um but kevin garnett he'd be pretty fun to use for sure especially in domination i'm definitely gonna need him for domination um because i kind of like to use our the big men's because the big man i like to post up with against the smaller player i like to use the pick and roll or if i don't get the pick and roll i just use try to get the mismatch between the point guard or any of the smallest player with the big man and then post up and get some easy basket that way instead of like sometimes you would turn the ball over passing it to to your big man but there you go so we've got about 300 actually tokens there which is nice we'll definitely get more since there will be part two to these collections here if you look at let's just get rid of that uh <clears throat> event so if you go to this there's gonna be probably set two probably gonna be under here or something like that so it's gonna be probably for the current collection since we did not get the current collection yet these were i would say historic players and stuff like that the original older players and stuff so 
I was supposed to say original player. What the hell is that? Um, it's actually historic players. And then I'm kind of uh, yeah. I would love to see Matt. So far, we haven't seen Magic Johnson, so eventually we'll probably get him sooner or later, right? Um, since we got majority, like a lot of the Lakers' best players, like we already got. Well, we got a Ruby version of James Worthy. Um, we got. Kobe Bryant, even though he's a diamond, but still, it's Kobe Bryant. We got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who's a pink diamond already as well. So we're technically the big. We're technically only missing is technically Magic Johnson, really, for the Lakers. Because I would love to have him, especially for domination. Because if I don't need to post up with our big man, we could post up with Magic Johnson and get easy basket with him as well. But um, th this was a new card yesterday that came out. Um, he's going for a decent amount. Um, he did pl he he did play really really well against the Lakers, coming off the bench for the Warriors. Um, there is also a new locker code too as well. If you go to, uh, yeah, we're gonna get the Luca pieces here. Um, so if you go to not there really, you go. Um. Man, I need to get used to getting... There we go. That's where you're supposed to go. Man, I kind of missed the days where you just had to go over here. Then settings or something like that. Or it would have been here to get the locker code. But it's over here now. It's kind of not my favorite thing. But community hub. If you look at there, that's the locker code right there. My team moments. Chris Dark Tay. So he is a Sapphire. I wish this card was like an evolution card or something like that. That would have been pretty fun, but, you know, it's a free card, so I'll definitely take that for part of the f collection that we need, because we are, <laughs> like, we need so many cards here. Um, we're almost halfway there with the collector level. Technically almost, wait, that is, like, almost, well, we need 34 more, so almost halfway there, almost. Um, so we still need another 44 cards here. Eventually, especially with a new domination and new collection, we we'll definitely will finish um, getting these cards. But then again, like right now, like I want to save the MT though because about 600 MT isn't, it's still decent, but not great because the 10% cut every time you buy a card and then selling it right back. So you are going to be losing MT either way. I, I was hoping to get too close to a million and stuff like that, but. You know, I'll, I'll take the empty I have. If I did end up finish selling all the cars from the my team set, we definitely would have maybe had over a million or pretty close, pretty close to a million. So let's just get the Lucas pieces here. We're we still need to do. Uh, we need a bunch more of the other pieces, but oh well. Like, I, do I care about Luca card right now? Not really. I kind of like my team right now, so it's a pretty, pretty solid team. Um, but then now we'll see what token market cards we get tomorrow. Uh, so let's go over here. Let's go over here. Uh, so how close are we with? Okay, we just need six more pieces. So yeah, we're almost there. Uh, um, eventually, maybe one day we'll get it. Maybe if we're like one card short or something of a collection, maybe we'll do it. So, yeah, we're still missing a lot of these. Um, maybe I'll buy some of these stuff, maybe off camera. These ones, I guess you're probably going to have to get it. I don't know how you're supposed to get these ones. Like the Nuggets statement floor. I'm guessing eventually they'll be in packs or something. Or some type of game mode to get them. Same thing with these one, Historic. I guessing maybe that could be for like the domination, the new domination. Maybe we'll have to collect these jerseys for something. I I don't know, but there's like 65 of them. So, or or maybe some of these are in the collection, like auction house where you have to buy them. But they're gonna be probably really expensive for those jerseys. Um, what else? Token market. We'll definitely see if we are gonna get. If the Galaxy Oval token market will open up for Season 2. 
we might not know. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. We did not get any of these extension boards. Glenn Robinson, he'd been a nice car, but I didn't end up getting him. Marcus Johnson, for all the boards, we still did not end up getting him. <laughs> How many boards was that? And we did not end up getting the diamond card. Uh, we did not get any of the exchange cards yet. Spotlight rewards, eventually we probably will get that. Uh, yeah, Daryl Griff, that's the only one that we're missing out of that. Lifetime Agenda one. Um, we got him already, so. The Unlimited, of course, we're going to be missing that. Um, dude, I, for the promo, I didn't get any of these diamond cards. Or even an amp. Like, we didn't get, like, we got nothing from the... <laughs> Promos. I don't know. I know some people did. I'm getting like some of these diamonds. For me, I got nothing from those promo packs. Just a lot of sapphires. I think the best thing we, I actually ended up getting was the ruby. Ruby card. That's the best thing I actually ended up getting from those packs. Uh, Fred for Elite. He's pretty cheap now. Scotty Pippen. He was already cheap. Um, Maybe eventually I'll get him back. Derek Rose. He's way cheaper now too as well. Anthony Davis. Damn, that one's 600. A lot of badges. Diamond shoes in. Yeah, his price is up there. He's never been cheap. Um, Isaiah Thomas. I was thinking of getting him. Uh, he's not a bad card. Because I do like his dunks. Um, and he also is a pretty good defense player too as well. Uh, I thought he was way better than that. But for the pure defense, I thought it would be in the 90s. But... Does also have good speed at 95 for him. That's amazing. I think he used to go for over 100k, but now he's under that. Sometimes you could get it for like 80 something, 85 or less at times. 85 or less, but now. Yeah, yesterday I, there was one for 84k. Yesterday I probably should have bought it. How much is this McTumbo card? I know he used to go for a bunch. Yeah, he's a buy it now too as well. It's really a tempting to get him since he also could shoot the three ball as well. 83. But uh, 94 on the blah. Overall, that yeah. some of the stats to you know, Jordan's going to be better. Especially, yeah, speed. Um, but offense wise, I guess the Tombo is better. Defensive wise, DeAndre Jordan is a little bit better. Um, uh, McTombo is 7-2. Seven, seven it, it, it's really attempting to buy some of these cards now since a lot of them dropped in price a lot. I picked up a couple of these Darius, Darius Miles card. Um, I was thinking of maybe picking up more. And also, I did pick up the. Duncan Robinson, he used to go for a bunch. Sometimes you get him for like, right now you get him for like 900. Empty at times. Um, Dennis Rodman, I did get rid of him. Uh, he, he's kind of cheap. Like, Kobe Bryant is really attempting to buy. Nikola, he's not even going, like, yeah, he's barely going for anything at this point. Same thing with the Dirk. But Kobe, he is really attempting. I know his price eventually will go up since the, when the packs are gone. And I think with Kobe and M Michael Jordan, their price is always... They're going to be always high. So let's see here. High in price. Same thing applied with the Cream Dual Bar. So if you're waiting to buy cards, I think just wait for the last couple weeks. when they have the, Especially for the Super Pack. Wait for the Super Pack. A lot of these cards go down in price. And you're not going to be losing as much MT. You're not going to be losing that much on the 10% cut. Um, It is really a time to get Jordan. And also getting the Kobe Bryant. But do I really, really, really need him? Not really. I think I still do pretty solid without the shooting guard and small forward position. Uh, technically just a point guard. And also my centers or the big men's. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for me. Oh, let's look at this Ogin Baylor real quick before I end it. 
Um, this Elgin Bella card does look pretty good too as well. He is, yeah, he's pretty cheap too as well. Because I don't think anyone really opens too many of these primetime packs. Yeah, he is. he's a buy now too as well. Like this card doesn't look too bad. I forgot about him, so Elgin Beller. I guess we're only missing a really, really good Jerry West and a Magic Johnson card, or else we got a pretty good all-time Lakers team right here alone itself. Um, let's see. He does got a pretty decent three eighty-seven. That's not bad. Good defense, and his interior defense is pretty good too for a small forward. Eighty-nine. That's better than technically Carmelo. Um, it's really attempting to buy it too as well. Um, let's see here. Also, another card I've been looking at is also this Chris Webber card as well. I'm looking at him as well. Um, but yeah, he's. Let's see. Cause this Chris Webber card does look really, really good too. That's not too many of them in the auction house, really. Does have an 83 ball mid range and 90. Um, 89 on the block, which is pretty solid. 82 on the speed. Like, it's not a bad card. I definitely kind of want to get it too, as well. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's too many of them in the auction house. But, yes. Okay, that's going to be it for me. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. And I might be streaming tomorrow. Who knows? Because I. I'm not sure which platform I'm going to be streaming on. It's either going to be Twitch or it's going to be on YouTube. But we are going to be getting started with Season 2. So hopefully you guys didn't end up getting the Carmelo or any of the rewards you actually end up wanting to get. And I will see you guys next time.